on. I know what you're thinking, why the heck am I back in the Hunter's Nightmare if things are over? Well, two things. Apparently, there's an invader that I need to put out of his misery in here. And then secondly, um, there's a gun I'm missing. Apparently, you can get an old Yarnum or you can get it here. Choose wisely. It seems like the route is easier near Lawrence, but... Let me double check up here, just in case. Amortajados por la noche, pero con paso firme. Coloreados por la sangre, pero siempre con la mano a sus clases. Son los... habitaciones. Nunca antes tuve un invitado. ¿Vas a matarme? Luego de todo lo que has hecho, ¿vas a matarme para corregir tus errores? <risa> ¿Qué sucede? ¿No vas a matarme? ¿O tal vez suplicar perdón? Bien, ríndete. Lo hecho, hecho está. <risa> ¿Qué sucede? ¿O bien. <risa> oh, he wants to be put out of his misery. Nada cambia. Esa es la naturaleza del hombre. <laughs> so now we got the blood letter. So now that he's gone, there's no more invasions. Interesting. Amortajados por la noche, pero con paso firme. Coloreados por la sangre, pero siempre con la mente. Orgullosos, que son bestias, son solo usted. Huh. Interesting. That truly is a conundrum in itself. So let's get out of here. <clears throat> I don't see myself going deep in today. Here's the deal here. I'm gonna go to Yep, the Grand Cathedral. That's uh Lawrence's boss room. So
You get more blood files. So that works. If you want some folks. Wanna step out, buddy? You can step out, Papa. Hey. You can step out, kid. Okay. 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 So I feel like kidding. As soon as this bastard starts blasting up. Now, I have no business here. Now I can get out of here. I have no business here anymore. I got what I came for. That was probably the hard way of doing it, but it's better than not doing it. There's a sense of satisfaction in actually conquering him. It's just, I don't do well with small spaces. And 
you would think I'd be used to it because I'm a New York City native, you know, for over 28 years. But um, even then, it still kind of messes with my head. But now, as you can see, this is a highly customized, portable version of the stationary Gatling gun operated by the old hunter Jura in Old Yarnum. It was the weapon of choice of the youngest of Jura's three companions. So there were three of them running around with those. So it was either in Old Yarnum or in the Nightmare. The Gatling gun boasts exceptional rapid firing functionality, considered a cumbersome weapon due to its excessive weight and insatiable consumption of buzz. But when you think about it, each one of the rounds is one bullet, so when you think about it, definitely worth it. Well, uh, well, well. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh, Sarobi, my guy. My guy. Bro, I'm actually about to get off soon because I only went live for one reason, one reason only. It's to kill that reindeer dude that was locked up in Ludwig's cell area and the fact that I needed this machine gun. Because contra yao i needed this machine gatling gun because i'm like don't get me wrong did you clip it i finally got it bro i finally freaking got it don't get me wrong i love my repeating pistol and granted it's a plus seven definitely better than ludwig's rifle mm. which means ludwig's gun ain't jack yeah. shit but you know, and the Hunter Pistol is okay, and notice how at plus five, it's better than Ludwig's rifle, so which means Ludwig wasn't very good with guns. Even the Church Cannon, 352 versus the Red Cannon, and trust me, the upscaling wasn't going to be much better. But this Gatling gun, I bring it up, it is going to make magic. It's going to make magic for me, and uh, yeah. So, and I, but let me tell you, that Gatling gun wielding dude was a pain in the butt. He gave me hell. So let me find... Ah, Brador's testimony. This is his gear. The scalp of a horrible cleric beast. Indicating that Hunter Brador, a healing church assassin, had killed a compatriot. So, if we know anything about Ludwig and... Ludwig and Lawrence. They were both of the healing church. And apparently, <laughs> their little blood addiction uh, ended up... And what's up. Yeah. So, the little blood addiction has led to them turning into beasts. And that's why, even though Yarnum's been prospering, uh, the side effect is that eventually all the drinking and of the healing blood is turning everyone into freaking man beasts. You know, starting to look like people that, well, you'd eventually see in, uh, in Elden Ring, in Faramazula, a bunch of beastmen. So basically, it's reversing their evolutionary cycle, which is kind of funny. Let me continue reading this. Afterward, he wore his ally's own scalp and hid himself away, deep below in a cell. The church provided him with a single soundless bell of death to ensure their secrets would be kept. This is why he kept invading me at the fishing hamlet. And as you remember the last time, homeboy kept <laughs> deleting me. Much to my chagrin and displeasure. But I finally put him out of his misery. You know. A while back. If he got to tune in. Which is cool. And of course. I'm just looking through all the gear here. This. Uh, Mikalash. His little punk ass. We want to get him this weekend. Just not tonight. I know for one thing. Probably what I'm going to do also this weekend is. Hell yeah. I, I love peeping loot. Yeah. I know for a fact, I'm definitely looking forward to going to Canehurst, because I can't believe I bypassed that. Um, at the pace I was going with the live streaming with this series, um, I was running straight, running straight close to the end game and completely leaving bosses behind, right? So I forgot that you had this guy, uh, Martyr Logarius, which because of Gascoin, I kept calling him Father Logarius. And then Martyr Gascoin had <laughs> the names mixed up. <laughs> um, so, you know, that that's... So I definitely got to go to Canehurst. Um, that's definitely something that needs to get done. And while this is the signature um, garment of Bloodborne, but my favorite one is the Grey Wolf Cap. I really like this. And again, apparently I had beat him in the first time I played him. But I didn't beat him in the Nightmare. I had beat him 
you know, in old yarn, I mean the main game. But, you know, my silly ass, well, you know, we do what we do. <laughs> we do exactly what we do. But I am curious as far as the B side. Ooh, good physical defense and good against blunt. So in other words, um, it's good against regular gunshots and like really like hard hits. So, so you know, this is good for that. But if you notice, eh, defense ain't all that great when it comes to arcane fire and lightning. So it's a little problem. But good poison resistance and a beast hood boost. So, you know, you get, get a little boost to kick some ass. So in, in, in the spirit of tradition. I'm a strong proponent of fashion souls, so <laughs> I'm gonna give my. So look, I can't explain why my character has pink sunglasses and then I wear this guy. Look, all I know is that it's my favorite gear. Okay, it's my favorite gear. Now, when it comes to gloves, let me see. I love my Kinghurst gloves. So those are freaking cool. Um, gas coins. We notice Bradar's gloves are similar to gas coins. Which means Gas Coin was involved with the Healing Church, but why he called himself Father, I think it had to do with the fact that he was one of the earlier hunters for the Healing Church. What I will do link in the description down below of some of the videos that actually go into the lore of Bloodborne, explain some of these details, but in parallel to real life scenarios that inspired Bloodborne, which I think is really dope. And when I was sitting down watching to amazing analogies, amazing comparisons and parallels to stuff that actually went down in real life, the parallels of Ludwig and Lawrence with two other people that were doing their own experimentations as doctors and psychologists and a bunch of other things. And I will gladly put that in the link of the description of this. For everyone's enjoyment here. And I think it's something that you guys really enjoy. So yeah, there'll be links to other YouTubers. But it's important that like, whatever info I know and learn when it comes to this game, I like to refer everyone. Be like, hey, listen, this is where I got the info from. So that you guys can really enrich yourselves with the lore of this game. I'm no Vadi Vidya, I'm no Smoketown Mensis Scala, you know, or Ashen Hollow, or even Miss Chalice, who love her to death. But there's some good stuff that I like to uh, link to my videos every once in a while, so that way you guys can get a little extra juice, a 